Tuesday, 9.52 p.m. It's quite late night, I think I need to go to bed. Good evening. Good evening to you, sir. Hmm. <laughs> Gee, what, what is this? What, what is this? What is this mess here? You, you're a really unreliable worker here, good sir. My boss would fire me if I did that, didn't clean that up. Can I help you, sir? Well, I hope so. My name's Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. Uh, I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I I'd like to ask you a few questions. Oh, of course. My son is dead, Mr. Shelby. I have nothing more to say. Jeez, everyone's just replying that way. Uh, persist. I, I you may know yeah. something that could help save other people's lives. I was unable to save the life of my own son. Yeah, you're fucking. I cold. do not see how I could save the lives of other people. Okay, he's got more of an explanation than that woman that we talked to. The killer has kidnapped another victim. A ten-year-old boy. Like your son, Risa. I have four days before we find his body on a deserted stretch of wasteland. No one did anything to save my son. <laughs> now, please do I think the police were that. helping, somewhat. Oh, do you sell inhalers? I'm all out, and at least I won't go away completely empty-handed. In the back of this door, to the right. Thanks. Okay, I'll walk through the chippies. Wait, why is there pizzas just at the front? Aren't they meant to be in a freezer? They, they taste horrible. Hmm. Ah, there they are. How convenient this place sells inhalers. Good evening, sir. Are you looking for something in particular? Give me what you got in the register. Don't fucking try anything. Oh damn, he's got a GTA 4 Deagle. Oh, I reckon Open I was that register, model from anywhere. Fucking. Put the money on the counter. Shit, are you deaf or what? Can't believe does it. Are you gonna open that fucking register? I'll go down the aisle with the chips. No, sir. You do not have the right to steal that money from me. I have worked very hard to earn it. Oh, this one doesn't actually. You cannot have it. What did you say? You're out of your fucking mind, man. You don't get it, do you? I'm gonna put the fucking bullet right between your eyes if you don't do what I say now. Don't turn around. You shall not be robbing my register. Turn around. That money is mine. I ask you now to leave before it is too late. Hiya! Oh shit! He's quick at thinking. Give me the gun. Punch him. Oh shit. Ow. Don't slap me, you bastard. Oh, fuck it, no. Okay, if we can knock him out with one punch, how do we not knock the other guy out? Thousand thank you, sir. I don't know what would have happened if you had not been here. Well, this I didn't come by for nothing. Have a nice day. When my boy, Razor, disappeared, I received a letter with a locker ticket inside. Inside the locker, I found this box. Hmm. I do not understand what it means. But I think it must be a sort of message from the man who took my son from me. Can I? Why shoebox and everything? Huh. Please, take the box if it can be of any use to you at all. It did not help me to save Reza. But maybe it will help you find the other little boy. Oh, now you want to be helpful. Oh, no, thank you. Uh, I'm not going to thank you, actually. You, you only gave me it because I saved so much. Shelby. I was beginning to think that there was no good to be found in this place. I can see now that I was wrong. Uh, now, what are we going to do about that guy on the floor? Let's pull down his pants, see what he's working with. <laughs> Ooh, new character. We're, we're a female. Oh, I don't want to be a female. Oh, I love the static channel.
Ah, oh, nightmare. Ah, she's poorly dressed. My ad revenue's going every second she's sitting like that. Dude, she gets up slowly. What's that? Ah, oh, was a Fitbit. She seems tired. I don't know how I know. Oh, look at that ass. Look at that ass. Oh, shake that ass. Shake that ass, boy. Wait. Oh, I don't know if that's copyright or not, so I'm just going to leave that off. Oh, what's in there? Oh. Oh, no. Wait, what, what would he be thinking? Insomnia? Goddamn insomnia. I'm totally exhausted, but I just can't sleep. Hmm, I keep forgetting this was an option. Oh. A hot shower. That'll create the magic of sleep. Would it? I thought showers more wake you up than make you go to sleep. I shouldn't take those damn pills again. Mm, druggy. Uh, maybe I'll go to bed and give the sleep thing one more shot. Uh, if I try to stay busy, it might actually help me get to sleep. Oh my god, she's got a fancy ass bathroom. To be fair, I, I like that. I think the, her hair is quite cute. I think girls with that sort of hair are cute. Well, I mean, it doesn't really matter, but... Oh, 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 oh no. Oh no. Oh no, I'm... Uh, Demonetization. I might need a sense of this whole bit. Oh no. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yep. Yeah, uh, oh, oh, oh no. Ah, <laughs> uh, looks like I'm uh, censoring this whole bit. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, I'll turn it off now. I don't want to have to censor so much. Quick shower, quick shower. Ooh, air shot, air shot. Tip shot. Don't tell me I gotta do the. Oh, god damn it again. Ah, titties. Oh, that's so nice. They're small as well. I like them. God, I'm gonna have to censor so much from that. Did she just put the same dirty bitch? Wait, are these the same ones? I, I can't tell. What? Okay, so now I can try and sleep again. Ah, uh, yes, everyone does this before sleepy buys. What? The hell? Okay, that was just pointless. Is there a bed or do I sleep on a sofa? Oh, I think we do have a bed. Okay, we do have a bed, but I saw a PC, so... Nice staring out the window, you know, posing for the camera. This is a photography shoot. <laughs> Alright. I really 
need sleep. How hard can it be to fall asleep? Oh, pretty hard. Pretty hard to sleep. What? Someone in my shower. Someone use my steamy hot water. <laughs> so many ass shots. What's going on? Who's there? No one. Just as I thought. I'll just go, I'll just go to bed, you know. Uh, nothing like a good night's sleep when someone could be here to do naughty things to me. Bedtime ago. Ah, fine, I can sleep. <gasps> oh, what the fuck? Boogeyman? Not tonight! Just go back to bed. Can I just go, can I go back to sleep? Anyone here? Hello? I do not like to be Mr. Land with. I'll have some alcohol. Maybe that will help me sleep. Hamburgers, oh, that'll be better. So I'm not even gonna eat, alright. Why am I just, why are there just many windows I can look out? Come on, stop leaning out a fucking window. Anything else I can do? I swear that shadow just moved. It's freaking me out. Girl, get a grip. The door's locked tight, and you're home alone. Where am I? Oh, 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 oh I saw that. Alright, we'll look at porno mags another day. I'm coming for you. The fuck? That wasn't open before. Is someone nicking my burgers? Oh, if they go in near those burgers, I swear. Get your ass off my burgers. No. Nah. Oh, I swear, this big boy. All right, who's messing with my electricals? There's someone here. There's someone really? in the apartment. No shit. The phone on the desk. I could call for help. The front door. It's the only way out. If I can reach it, I still have a chance. Yeah, it looks like a front door it is. See ya. <gasps> the fuck? <gasps> Why is it not open? Hey, 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 off me, off me. Sexual harassment. Harassment. Get off me. No! Oh, God. The irony of women tripping. Oh, shit. How did I miss that? <laughs> ah, there's two of you. Ah, don't tag team me. This ain't a nice. This ain't. It's not an awesome porn video. Fuck off. You ain't having babies anymore. Oh shit. You're a terrible murderer. <laughs> To be fair, what might be worse, they might be enjoying this. Ah. The corner of that table just hit them. Yep, the right one. What am I doing? 
same guy you get him. Ah, I fuck. Yeah, that was gonna be a fuck up. No, ah, cry! I know, cry too, bastard! Jump on him! <laughs> it worked somehow. Bro, don't throw the TV. We need it. That was a failed attempt. That was failed. Ah. <laughs> oh, me and my mates treat women. Right in the balls. Why did we drop the knife? We could have stabbed them for a second time. Okay. Oh. Hello. <laughs> what a sexy dream. Can't believe that not many people dream of that stuff more often. Like that. That's quite hot. What if that was like a dream where you just dream of the future and you like you know what's gonna happen and she just wakes up and she just gets attacked again? Shut up! Don't go in the bathroom this time. Just run for the front door. She now knows there's a third guy in there. Oh my god! That must be horrible. They're all, all the press is outside the house. Hello, uh, you, you, your son's been kidnapped. We want to do an interview with you, though. No, so, wait, fuck off. Let me wallow in pain in peace. By myself. On the table. Where my son used to do his homework. Oh, we got that, though. What is this? When the parents came home from church, all their children oh, were gone. The, the other day. They searched and called for them. They cried and begged. But it was all to no avail. The children have never been seen again. How suspicious we got this letter. Ah, so we got another one. Locker ticket. I have to get out of here and find out what this ticket is about. All right, well, let's go past the press, you know, and see what they have to say. Mr. Mars, Mr. Mars, a few Mars. words. Oh, Mr. Mars. Shit. Goddamn reporters. <laughs> They've been camped outside my house all day. I'll leave for the front door, why not? Mr. Mars, can you confirm that your son has disappeared? Do you think the origami killer Mr. Mars, kidnapped him? Get another car. Mr. Mars, your son that's going to walk straight Mars, to that car without slapping on the way. Mr. Mars. Oh my you god, you god these questions. Anyone, do you know if the investigators have any leads? You lost your son in the park. How do you feel? Mr. Mars, can you confirm that your son do you has think disappeared? Your son is still alive? Jesus, these fucking questions. This is why I hate photographers and like paparazzi. It, it's so fucked. They ask the most fucked questions at the most inappropriate time most half of them do. Yeah, it's like, it's like the, I swear that happened with like the parents. Oh, I can't remember what the kid's name was, but the kid got, it's a famous person who just got taken piss out on the internet for being missing. And I think paparazzi was just like that with the parents. I was like, oh shit, that's fun. Ah, crowd of boys. <laughs> Jason! Sean! Oh, uh, we have a bloody PTSD sort of fit because of it. Gonna, gonna have to make it through the crowd. I can't, can't take crowds. Just can't handle it. I don't blame him. I, I can't make it. 
Too many people. Too many people. In, uh, 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 hail, hail. Gotta breathe out. Breathe in, ow. Hit my hand. Breathe out, Ethan. Come on. Come on. Breathe. Breathe, damn you. Choke yourself out, you know. Get a bit horny before you do anything. I, I don't get what he's doing right here. People are so casual about it, though. Alright. Exhale. Inhale. And then exhale. Inhale. Oh, I'll do this again. Come on. Shake, 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 shake. Oh, God, we're dead. We just passed out on the floor or something. The fuck? Wait, the flash? <laughs> Dad. Dad. Oh God. Dad, where are you? Jason! <laughs> Jason! Dad! Can I say it again? Jason! Jason! Dad! Dad! Jason! Dad! Where is he? I see a balloon. Jason! Why move out of the way? Dad! Jason! Dad! Jason! There he is. Dad! What the hell? It's just blacked out. Oh, we're at the ticket booth, though. We're, we're fine. We're fine now. Jesus, oh, he's on PTSD of seeing his dead son. Damn. Line 18, box number three. Alright, well, let's uh, go find it. Can't ask him. Nope. Line 18, box number three. Alright. 18 would be down here, wouldn't it? Ten, eleven, fourteen, fifteen. Be the next one, wouldn't it? Eighteen. Oh, box eight. Oh, that is eighteen. Number three, I believe it said, if I remember correctly. Aha! We found it. <laughs> a shoebox. How ironic. I wonder who it was from. <laughs> Just nobody's around. Right. Ah, we're staying at a motel.
So we haven't even opened up the shoebox, have we? Oh no, we're transitioning from Ethan to Ethan. Oh, let's see what's in this box. Oh, a gun. A phone. Some origamis, I believe it was. Yeah, they're origamis. The numbers as well. At least he's organised. These are impressive. Like the way you make origamis out of paper. Are you prepared to show courage to save your son? Joe's Garage in the parking lot 1988 Roseville Avenue, Le Lexington. Ooh. Am I prepared to show courage? No, I am not. Now, what's in this SIM card? Porn? I want to see porn. No, I can't say that. Uh, corn, I meant. Playing video. Oh, that is fucked. Help. Dad. Sean. Where are you? I'm so cold. Dad. Dad. How far are you prepared to go to save someone you love? Probably a lot. Like, you, you would go far to save someone you love. Five origami figures. Each trial, each trial provides the letters. The letters reveal an address. Okay, well. Why are we taking the gun? It didn't say we need the gun. No, put under the bed. Now let's go. Let's see what the courage is we need to provide to save Sean. Oh my god, we are ancient Norman. The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He doesn't act on impulse, but plans his crimes in a very meticulous fashion. He doesn't have anything personal against the victims, that's why he covers their faces with mud, to make them anonymous. Hmm. Why does he kill them if he doesn't have anything against them? Sick fuck. For him, they're more of an image, a symbol. That's probably why he gives them an origami figure and an orchid as gifts to apologize for what he's done to them. Very interesting. And where does all that get us? Nowhere. Uh... I'm going to be calm. The best way of tracking a predator is to be familiar with his behavior. That may be true in novels, but there's a child's life at stake here. Continue, Jaden. <laughs> I'll just keep pressing it. Um, rainfall. One detail attracted my attention. The interval between the time when a victim disappears and the time when the body is found ranges from three to five days. But the rainfall is always at six inches, give or take 10%. What on earth does that mean? All the victims were drowned in rainwater. The killer kills only in the fall when there is plenty of rain. It could be that he puts them in some sort of well or tank that is open to the skies and that fills up with rainwater. Rainwater. The more it rains, the less time the victim has to live. Gee, he's quite good. He's quite good. Then I studied the geographical distribution of the murders. Generally, a killer commits a good his character. first murder near like to where he lives, so he has a safe place to flee to if any complications arise. The more confident he becomes, the further he roams from his base. By analyzing the locations where the victims disappeared, I was able to isolate a zone where the killer might live. And, and what size is this, uh, zone? For the moment, about 10 square mile. Ah, oh, great. There must be 10,000 people live in that sort of area. You gonna question them one by one? 
What? It's better than what you guys come up with. The more clues we get, the more we can reduce the zone. We can then cross-check it with our list of suspects and identify the killer. So what's next? There are two suspects whose psychological profile might fit and can be connected to the comfort zone. I'd like to question them. God damn it. We're wasting our time with this bullshit. The killer's out there somewhere, and we gotta get off our asses and find him. Reason, go for him. <laughs> the killer is no ordinary murderer. He is intelligent, organized, and methodical. You won't find him by patrolling the streets. Tell me, Agent Jaden, did you get your vast experience on the job, or did you just fucking read about it in some school book? <laughs> what a dope for him. I came here to find a killer. I'm and being that's calm. exactly what I'm gonna do. With or without your Fucking help. Fucking asshole! That's enough! Why is it why is he calling me a fucking asshole? I'm saying I'm gonna find a killer six and he's not. Inches of rainfall before the victim died. How much time do we have left? If the weather forecasts are right, less than 72 hours. Yeah, what well, are you looking at, asshole in the background? What are you looking at, bitch? Oh, we're in the sexy jacket again. Knock, knock, knock. No answer. We waste our time coming here. Maybe we should have a little look inside anyway. There's nobody home. Is this gonna break the door? <laughs> Jesus. There is now. I'm not sure that's entirely legal. It's not. Call the cops. Yeah, but that still makes you doing illegal shit. It's not legal still, just because you said call the cops. Oh, this man is Jesus. Looks Listen. like Nathaniel Williams is a pretty religious guy. He's a God-fearing idiot, waiting for the end of the world. We questioned him a few months back because he was causing a disturbance in the park. He was ranting and raving. Said he heard voices. Had this so idea insane. in his sick little head that I was the Antichrist. I'd come to Earth to persecute him. Ah, don't blame him. Real twisted. Hmm. He's got a Bible next to his bed. Are these just quotes on the wall? Like, Bible quotes he's written in. Oh, he's on a lot of medication. <coughs> a lot of, uh, Jesus nut jobs. Hey, hey, me first. Okay, that's, uh... Very uh, legal. He's got a lot. Well, that's vitamins, so that's fine. The guy's taking a break from reality, holed up here in this crazy apartment. All the signs of a mystical obsessive neurosis compounded by a persecution complex. And a dirty boy. You don't have to be a profiler to see he's not a killer. We're wasting our time here. It's stifling in here. Those windows haven't been opened in years. If that's not that's not milk, is it? That's something else. Oh, someone's home. Hello, I'd like a word about your boy Jesus. He seems good like he's timing, been up to no Nathaniel. Good. Just the man we're looking for. Angels and ministers of grace defend us. I'm Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. As God is my witness, I haven't done anything. I'm innocent. Then he can come to trial. Relax. I'll get your Nobody's ass accusing you of anything. We just want to talk. Um. Where do you work, Nathaniel? You have a job? 
My sole occupation is praying to the all-merciful Lord for the salvation of humanity. Yeah, they ain't paying, though. Why all the crucifixes? You afraid of something? The hour is nigh, and the wrath of God shall strike men down. I am preparing for the end of the world. Yeah, well, so it hasn't happened, so, uh... Nathaniel, do you remember where you were last Tuesday at 4.30 p.m.? <laughs> here. Brian. I was here. I was praying. Oh, he was. All day. <laughs> was there anybody with you? No. No, I was... As a lone prayer. Uh, what about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? No, he's going to antagonize them, mate. We know who talks to you, don't we, Nathaniel? Oh, we both know who talks to you. Don't speak that name. The devil? What does Blake, he say to you, What Nathaniel? are you doing? <laughs> I can't talk about it. You must I'm going to let this go it. on. He orders you to go and find new prey, doesn't he? He needs more and more. Is that why he's at a children's park? No. You I've got to do him. something. Go bring him here. Shit. Blake is totally out of his mind. I can't just stand around and do nothing. you all night long. You wanted them That's to stop. Enough. Leave him Nathaniel. alone. Stop. Stop. That's enough. So you obeyed them to make them stop. You took that boy with you and you drowned him. Isn't it, that right? It, this is not legal, is it? No! Carter, shit! Stop! Are you out of your mind? Stop! You killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? Are you gonna confess, you bastard? It's the part. You are the oh. Antichrist. Put down the gun, I Nathaniel. Saw the to your father in hell. I, I was joking. I didn't even tell you know he was gonna pull a gun. He was sent to Earth to destroy us. For Christ's sake! Shoot! Calm down, Nathaniel. Nobody here wants to hurt you. Put the gun down. Now gently put the gun down on the floor. Demon. You shall regret confronting the emissary of the Lord. You shall know divine power. Oh, fuck it. Why not? I... I shot him. Yep. I'm so bad. Looks like you did. Can't say I'll miss him. <laughs> Come on, let's go. We're not even going to fill out an incident report or just stay for the uh, for the ambulance or whatever. Yeah, why not? Really classic car. Nope. Knock, knock. That was a baby. No answer. Baby screaming inside. Not a promising start. No, I'll uh, go around back. This way does not look promising. Oh, so we're just breaking and entering, that's a good sign. This doesn't look good for us. Anybody home? This is Balls. Well, I can see what's wrong with the baby. Hello, little cutie. Who? You looking for your mama? Why ain't me? Oh, Jesus. <sighs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. 
Give me the bag. Hello? Mrs. Bowles? Mrs. Bowles, are you there? Kick. Why just does your shoulder? Oh, shit. Ah, she's in a ketchup covered bath. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Mrs. Bowles! Mrs. Chrissy, Bowles, wake up! I don't like this. Wake up! Wake up! Jesus, you're fat. <laughs> Got myself a free new toy. <laughs> That's fucked. <laughs> Oh, the poor bed sheets. They're white. They're going to be covered in blood. I'm going to call an ambulance. No, I, I don't want to go to the hospital. Please. Okay. You got something around here I can dress this one with? Yeah. I think so. She's very calm okay. for someone who just don't tried move. killing herself. I'll be right back. Is it in here? I'll just wash my hands real quick. That woman was looked a bit yucky. With all the blood and everything. Let's see. I need this. And this. And this. Oh, you need giving it to her. I'm just robbing her. I'm here for you, Susan. You'll be all right. I'll take care of you. All right, don't get pleasure from this. <laughs> uh, you know, it's not good if they're not like Flintstone plasters, you know, SpongeBob plasters. I want them. There, I done what I can. That should stop the bleeding. Well, luckily the wounds aren't too deep. Hey. How are you feeling? You okay? She should still go to hospital. My baby. My baby needs me. Don't worry, I'll go breastfeed. Right. You stay there. I look like I wrote the tits the for it. Okay. Like, look at that man. He's got you the tits for it, do? definitely. With a baby, I mean. No. I'm a private eye. There's nothing I can't do. <laughs> Besides, look after a child. Her name is I was Emily. a private eye when I walked in here. Gotcha. Mommy will live for now. Let's see how Junior's doing. Where, 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 shut the fuck up, bitch. Okay, I can't pick up a child with bloody hands, so why not? Milked her. Maybe she's hungry. Hi there, Emily. So, what seems to be the problem, huh? Oh, going by the smell, I got a pretty good idea. Oh, lovely. Wait, so we're gonna just change a random woman's baby? That's kind of weird. Okay. How do you do this again? Oh, please say you're not going to show. They don't show a child's ass or something. That's weird. We well, just like. I don't want to let go. Oh no! I did show a child's ass. I, I definitely want to censor that. No, brother, that's not the right. What? Why is it asking me? Why is it asking me to do it? Okay. <clears throat> Let's start. Ask me to press three buttons at once. There you go, fresh new baby. That should feel better. Right, Emily? 
It still feels weird when you think like a baby that size grows into like hey, some some back back like that. Like, it can grow very big. Hungry? Of course. Now I know why you're crying, my little peachy poo. My peachy poo. My peachy poo. I guess I better warm this thing up. Is that actual? Is that an actual thing people use to warm up baby milk? I know some people put it in the bloody microwave or something, just to do it, apparently. They're going to test on your skin. Oh, Emily, are you hungry? Hmm? Huh? You hold on. I'll just tilt this bottle a little bit so you don't jump. Isn't that just, that's not a little bit, that's fully up, like you're trying to choke the boy, baby. Jeez, you're drunk at all, you fat fuck. <laughs> God, burp the child, do we? Yep. It just slaps <laughs> it. <laughs> oh. Good job, Emily. Hmm? You're she feeling good my shoulder. Now, right? <laughs> now, I'm going to rock you very gently so you can have a nice little snooze. Okay. All right. La baby. La ta ta cha. La ta ta cha. Please go the fuck to sleep. Or I will send you to the origami killer. So he can drown you in rainwater. Oh, I'm gonna wake her up. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't like the lullaby. I uh, just dropped her way too hard. Oh, sorry, kid. You're not done rocking, right? Wee, wee, wee. Fuck yeah. La ta ta, baby, you fucking wake up. Oh, I will drop you by accident. There are big quotation marks right there. Because I don't like you being here. Good night, little child. Don't wait again. The beast, you can insult the child as much as you want. They won't remember anything until they're fucking free. Like they fall over. Ah, oh, you dumb twat. No, I mean, you're just giving them pre-existing PTSD, so why not? No, I've just got to lean on here. Be cool. Thanks for looking after my baby. I didn't want to leave her. I, uh, sure. I just couldn't cope anymore. Y y sure. Your reasons are dumb. Your reasons are dumb. You're dumb. Now. Good boy. Can't understand why anyone would want to hurt him. Oh, so, oh, you're another fucking origami witness. Do you take care of this baby on your own? Doesn't Jeremy's father live with you anymore? He disappeared. The day after Jeremy. I don't know what happened to him. Jesus, the origami kid just ruins his maybe, people's lives. Maybe he couldn't take it. Ever since I've had to look after Emily all on my own, and I couldn't do it anymore. I understand. Did your husband say anything before he disappeared? Probably not. Did he leave a note or something? <laughs> no. Ouch. Wow. Ouch. Wow. He left the house without a word, and there was just the cell phone. A cell phone? Yeah, I, I found a cell phone in his dresser. I'm sure it wasn't his. I'd never seen it before. Nah, he's having an affair. I tried to turn it on, but it didn't work. Do you still have it? Yeah, it's, um, it's in a drawer in the living room. 
You can have it if you'd like. I'm sure it's of more use to you than to me. Do you have any family or anybody <laughs> to help you? Damn, I can't go grab it. Yeah. My mother. Very dramatic. I want to ask her for anything. We don't really get along. But I guess I'm out of options. Well, look after yourself. And Emily. I will. I promise. Don't go... Uh, don't cut to the chase. <laughs> don't be a Yuri. <laughs> oh, well, I got, oh, okay, I got the cell phone. Getting the clues together. <laughs> wow, it's the only thing in this drawer. Well, I got what I came for. See ya, child. Are uh, we off? Damn the box TV. That is old. Did I did I miss something? Like Um What was there anything else I was meant to do? I just zoomed in on the woman and her body child. Is there anything else I'm meant to do? Oh, oh, we're playing Zephan. Oh, we're about to show courage. Ah, time to see what we have to do. 